is Jen. Welcome back to Book Spawn. So today is Thursday and I am so excited to announce that I have been asked, I have been given the honor to be part of Bookless Thursday's five-star prediction round. Um, if you're not sure what Bookless Thursday is, I will explain. So Bookless Thursday is something my friend Sarah at Sarah's Nightstand and Lindsay at Lindsay's Little Library. It's something that they've put together and been doing for a long time. Now, um, they come up with some kind of book topic every Thursday and they just talk about books. They give you recommendations and it is so much fun. They're usually short and sweet, but I crave them. I look forward to them every Thursday. Um, now, if you haven't checked out these ladies' channels, please do. They're two of my favorites. Um, through starting this channel, I've been wanting to do this for years before I actually started. Um, and they, as I've become friends with them, they were just my biggest cheerleaders. They were so helpful and encouraging, and through their support, I really just ripped off the band-aid and started creating content, and I'm so glad that I did because I'm having so much fun on here, you guys, um, and I'm enjoying talking with you guys in the in the comments below, and I'm just having a great time. So a million thanks to Sarah and Lindsay for encouraging me to do this. Um, but yeah, let's see. So I've been watching Bookless Thursday for a long time. Um, Lindsay says something very specific. Let's see if I can get it right. Welcome to Bookless Thursday. Bookless Thursday is something I do with my friend Sarah over at Sarah's Nightstand. Every Thursday, we come to you with some kind of book, thoughts, ideas, recommendations, something bookish related. I think that's how it goes. So there you go. <laughs> but yes, so um, through this Bookless Thursday, they're doing these rounds of five-star predictions. This year, they have decided to um, come up with different buzzwords to kind of guide these choices. Um, they also are asking a third booktuber to kind of guest star and, and do the list of five star predictions with them. And I was picked. I get to do it, you guys. It feels so surreal. I'm so excited. So thank you, Sarah and Lindsay, so much for including me. Um, I know last round the um, buzzword was series and they did it with uh, books and beaches. I will also put her channel down below too. Her channel is great as well. So all that being said, we decided to pick the word five or the number five for this round's um, buzzword. So we thought we could have a lot of fun with this, maybe think a little bit outside the box. Um, it took me a little bit because I would kind of come up with like a fun prompt and then the book was like, no, I don't know that necessarily will be five stars. Okay, so for my first five star prediction, the prompt I used was five colors on the cover. Now, this one is something, I will be shocked if it's not five stars. Um, it is Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I know there's five, more than five colors on this beautiful cover, but my channel, my rules, so we're going with it. There is also 405 pages in this book. Um, this is Abby Jimenez's new one. I have rated everything five stars that, sh that I've read by her so far. Um, in this one, we're following Emma and the Justin, and they both have a curse when it comes to love. So when they date someone, when they break up, that person ends up going on to meet the love of their life. So they decide to date and try to break the cycle of these curses. So that's all I want to know going in, but I know I'm going to probably love this romance. I feel like Abby Jimenez just really has a way of writing characters that feel real. Um, the romances feel also real, but also have some depth in them. They're not like immature, right? Um, she writes a good steamy scene. And there's usually a lot of snarkiness in her books that I just really get along with. <laughs> um, her books have been known to make me laugh and cry within two chapters of each other. So highly anticipating this. I'm pretty sure this is going to be five stars. Um, so that was my first pick, five colors on the cover. My second pick, what I did here is I looked at each of the shelves behind me and also my bookshelf by my bed and I counted the fifth book either from the top or the left um, any way I could and I took all those books together and decided that this one here is going to have the highest chance of being five stars and that is Only If You're Lucky by Stacey Willingham. Now I have read other two books by her, uh, Flicker in the Dark and All the Dangerous Things and I have given both of those five stars so that's why I'm kind of pretty confident this will be another five star. Um, this one was the fifth book like I said on my shelf um, and we're following Lucy Sharp 
and Margot. So these two friends um, meet first year in college in South Carolina. They're at a liberal arts school and um, they move in together with I think three or four other girls um, off campus and Lucy's kind of the ringleader of this group. I feel like you might get some toxic female friendships in here, which I enjoy very much. Um, in books, not in real life. <laughs> and anyways, so they move off campus and one of their neighbors um, in a fraternity is brutally murdered. And that's all I want to know. I'm sure we're going to find out what happened, who killed him, and I cannot wait. So again, highly feel like this is going to be five stars. And that was the fifth for on my shelf. And then the last book I don't physically own yet. It is a pre-order from Barnes and Noble. I ordered a special edition of this book. It is being released May 7th, which May is the fifth month of the year. It also, this version I'm getting has 512 pages. So it's got a five there. And the title of this book, drum roll please, is Five Broken Blades. So five is in the title. This is by May Corland. It might be my Corland, but I believe it's pronounced May Corland. And in this book, we are following a kingdom. It's a fantasy. I was kind of in the mood for a fantasy and I was kind of looking at how can I fit a fantasy book into a five-star prediction. Um, and then I got a notification about this pre-order and I said, oh my gosh, that's perfect. So this was kind of a last minute one, um, this third prompt. Um, so, but I thought, oh my gosh, 500 pages, comes out fifth month of the year and it has five in the title. It's just meant to be. So in this one, it's a fantasy. We're in a kingdom whose king is just ruthless. He's a horrible leader. Um, no one is happy. I, you know, the rich are getting richer, but um, poor people are starving. Uh, people are getting sold off into slavery and abused, and it's just horrible. So these five members of the kingdom, I don't know if they're assassins or what their stories are, but they all decide to form this alliance to take over the king and murder him. Um, and so through this, we're going to have lies and betrayal. We're going to probably have some kind of quest there's going to probably be a lot of um, competitiveness in this book, which I really love. And only one of them can actually claim the crown. So there you have it. This book is beautiful. I can't wait to get my hands on it and see it in person. Um, the special edition, the sprayed edges are amazing. Um, and I'm very excited. So there you have it. Those are my three five-star predictions. I most likely will be picking up this first in May. I'm very excited to pick this up. Um, it was hard not to read it right when I got my hands on it, but I was reading other things. So tune back with me at the end of June and I will share with you guys where these five stars are not. I'm so excited to get going on this. Um, thanks again for watching my video. I will see you in the next one. Happy reading. Bye.